if you can't taste it, smell it, then go back and taste it. If you can't smell it, try to breathe it in and then go back and, and taste it again and see if it, or, or smell it again and see if it smells better. And it's just an easy little strategy that oftentimes helps and just, just develops a sense of smell and taste better. Okay, live from the Nerf Health Institute, we've got Brittany here today. And this is uh, the second time we've, or third time we've actually seen her. She, she came in from Atlanta a good ways to, to visit us for smell and taste recovery. And keep in mind, there are nerves that make you smell and nerves that make you taste. And so many of you out there have reached out to us, asked me what to do. I've talked to people as far as Canada, all over trying to give advice on, on this stuff. So I wanna give you a few basic ideas. And this, this is what we wanna do with Brittany. She's coming here, she's spending her time and her money and her effort. And we're trying to give her the best of what we have to get these nerves back. Sometimes it's really easy. We make a few corrections and we've seen patients just go from zero to 100% in one visit. And we've seen others, it takes a little bit longer. But I want you to know this little strategy. And this is based on science, okay? This strategy is actually us helping to turn nerves back on. So if you're out there right now and you're having trouble, we were just teaching her this, this, this particular sequence that happens. If you're out there and you can't smell something, okay? So let's just say you're eating dinner and maybe you can't smell dinner, okay? Whatever, or you're cooking dinner and you can't smell it. Well then breathe dinner through your mouth a couple of times. Just breathe it in through your mouth and then go back and try to smell it. An example would be maybe I can't smell this. This is cinnamon and I'm just, I can't smell it. Well then I'm gonna inhale it a couple of times and then I'm gonna come back and smell it. And oftentimes what's gonna happen is your ability to smell is gonna go up after you get it going through the mouth. The same nerves that make you taste and smell are on the same tree branch of nerves coming off your brain. So this is how we actually help to stimulate these nerves to come back. The reverse side would be maybe you can't taste your food. Let's say you're eating and you can't taste it or drinking something, you can't taste it. Well, smell it really deep and then come back and taste it again. And you can actually do this several times. It doesn't have to just be one time or twice uh, to be able to do it. So do you have any questions with respect to that? I don't think so. <laughs> it's a pretty simple strategy, mm -hmm. right? So again, so let's say you can't, you, can you smell this? Mm, not so much right now. You'll, well, yeah, I can. Okay, I can. a common thing we also see with patients is we'll see the nerve, and this happens with nerves in general in the human body. We want them powered up at 100%. And sometimes they're powered at 50, 40, 30%. And then maybe you kind of do something that makes it get a little more, more power and a little less. And so a lot of patients are noticing just smell and taste kind of go up and down at times. And so again, this particular strategy, if you can't taste it, smell it, then go back and taste it. If you can't smell it, try to breathe it in and then go back and, and taste it again and see if it, or, or smell it again and see if it smells better. And it's just an easy little strategy that oftentimes helps and just, just develops a sense of smell and taste better for each of you out there. So I hope this helps and, uh, and just comment if you have questions, subscribe to our channel. We're constantly giving you good, good content, good, good um, messages out there just to educate you and help you with this process.